Hi everyone, this is Anand from CMMA Boys. And in this video, we are going to quickly talk about how you can integrate the release notes process in your Jira workflow. In another video that I recorded yesterday, we talked about why it is important to integrate the release notes process in the software development workflow. But for today's discussion, we are going to specifically focus on Jira itself. Here you go. So first, let me open up one of the Jira issues that we have in here on our board. And the first thing that you'll notice as soon as the issue detail page completely loads is that we have a segregated release notes field in the issue description area. So what we do is we utilize the combination of custom fields and workflow validations to ensure that we are gathering sufficient information regarding release notes, right? So you heard it right. There are two things, two important things. One is custom fields from Jira and the second one is conditions and validations in Jira workflow. So let's talk about the custom fields. As you are aware, Jira offers a number of different types of custom fields, right? Now, typically for release notes purposes, the most useful field you are going to need is the multi-line custom field with a wiki renderer because then that lets you have images or embedded videos inside of it and then you can utilize that specific information to generate relevant release notes in our case you would notice we have three custom fields that are specific to release notes first one is a drop down that essentially determines whether the release notes are supposed to be included in the public release public facing document or not the second one is summary for public release notes, which is different from the internal issue summary and then the description. You can already think about a number of ways this can be customized further. Imagine that you have your product in two languages. You can basically have two different release notes custom field, one for English, one for German. Similarly, if you have multiple personas, then you can create the release notes document for these different personas by simply having different release notes custom field for each one of them. That was first one. Second, it's all about ensuring that you not only have these fields within the Jira tickets, Jira issues, but also that everyone that is responsible for getting this information out, fills it out at the right time. And that you can ensure via the conditions and validations within Jira workflow. For example, in our case, what we do is we have a status called ready for development and we have a validation in there that when you are changing the status from ready for grooming to ready for development, the release notes field should be populated. If it isn't, the validation won't go through and the transition won't happen. It depends on how your workflow looks like, how your process looks like. You can have that in here or you can even have the release notes mandatory when maybe transitioning from live or some apps to live or any status that's appropriate for your scenario. I hope that was helpful. Thank you.